541 million years ago marked a huge change in life on Earth. Around this time, the majority of life was single-celled and simple. But soon after, complex, multicellular organisms became vast in the millions of years after this time. What happened? What was this period, and what happened within the period to lead to the development of current life? Well, today we're going in depth, stage by stage, through the Cambrian period, and describing the early complex life after the more simple Ediacaran life. So let's get ready to hop back in time on Down the Line. All right, welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Pete, and we're going to start today's episode by looking into the Phanerozoic Eon. So the Phanerozoic Eon is a current geologic eon in the geologic timescale, and the one during which abundant animal and plant life has existed. It covers 541 million years to the present, and began with the Cambrian period, when diverse hard-shelled animals first appeared. The time before this eon, called the Precambrian Super Eon, is now divided into the Hadean, Archean, and Protozoic Eons. And we actually covered those topics in... Uh, in earlier episodes. So if you do want to find out more about that, it's more like about uh, the actual Earth itself and the formation of the, you know, continents and everything like that, like leading up to this this time period where we're going to talk more about life. So, yeah, if you want to find out more about that, they're in previous episodes. The time span of the Phanerozoic starts with the rapid emergence of a number of animal phyla, which is the sixth rank out of eight, with the eighth being life and the first being a species. It's kind of like a weird hierarchy ranking system but I don't think even think I fully understand it. But from what I can kind of piece apart from this, the phyla is like it is life, but it's not yet a species. It's not yet any kind of collective life. But uh, these life, they did uh, evolve in this time into more diverse forms. The Cambrian also saw the development of complex plants, the evolution of fish, and the emergence of insects. So land plant life appeared in the early Phanerozoic eon. And during this time span, tectonic forces caused the continents to move and eventually collect into a single landmass known as Pangaea. Yeah, maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> and they then separated into the current continental landmasses. The Phanerozoic Eon is split into three eras, the Paleo, Meso, and the current Cenozoic eras. So let's get into the Paleozoic era. It comes from the Greek word Paleos meaning old and Zoa meaning life. So Paleozoic means ancient life is the earliest of the three geologic eras of the Phanerozoic. The Paleozoic is subdivided into six geologic periods, the Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, and Permian periods. God, you already know I fucking hate saying all these names. They're so, like, long. And then this one's, like, this episode's going to be really bad about the, I say, like, trilobite species. And God, it gets so convoluted. and these, they're, they're, like, all words that don't have any fucking vowels in them, and it's just... I did a lot of uh, pronunciation for this episode, so I hope you guys fucking like it. <laughs> the Paleozoic was a time of dramatic geologic, climate, and evolutionary change. The Cambrian witnessed the most rapid and widespread diversification of life in Earth's history, known as the Cambrian Explosion, in which most modern phyla first appeared. Life began in the ocean, but eventually transitioned onto land, and by the late Paleozoic, it was dominated by various forms of organisms. Around this time, fish and amphibians evolved, and modern plants also made their first appearance. The Paleozoic Era ended with the largest extinction event in the history of Earth, the Permian Extinction Event. But today's episode is going to be more focused on the Cambrian period, which uh, is the first geologic period of the Paleozoic Era of the Phanerozoic Eon. And I, I know that that gets really complicated and fucking confusing, but I guess just remember it as the, the uh, Phanerozoic Eon, and then inside the Eon is the, the Era's the first being the Paleozoic Era, and then inside the eras are the periods, starting with, say, the Cambrian period. And then that gets into these uh, series, and that one gets into stages, so it's going to get more and more convoluted. I'll, I'll try as hard as I can to make it less um, confusing and try to explain it as best as I can, but it still might be pretty pretty hard, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. The Cambrian lasted 55.6 million years from the end of the preceding Ediacaran period, which was last episode, 541 million years ago, to the beginning of the Ordovician period, 485.4 million years ago. Its subdivisions and its base are somewhat in flux, and you're definitely going to see that in this episode. Um, this period was established as the Cambrian series by Adam Sigwick, who named it after Cambria, the Latinized form of Cymru, the uh, Welsh name for Wales, where Britain's Cambrian rocks are best exposed. 
The Cambrian is unique in its unusually high proportion of sedimentary deposits, sites of exceptional preservation, where soft parts of organisms are preserved as well as more resilient shells. And I feel like this is kind of the first time, like, I mean, if you, if you remember from the last episodes, like the E.D. Karen, a lot of the fossils seem to be more like trace fossils, where um, the fossils are more of like the footprints kind of thing, or instead of the actual, like, fossils, the actual body parts kind of thing. The Cambrian marked a profound change in life on Earth. Prior to the Cambrian, the majority of living organisms on the whole were small, unicellular, and simple. The Precambrian Charnia being exceptional for their time. And if you remember from last episode, I really get in depth with Charnia and Dickinsonia. Super, super interesting creatures that, uh, I mean, that they, they were, like I said before, like kind of maybe an evolutionary dead end. And they led to, they kind of paved the way for these organisms coming up. So that's really cool. If you want to find that out, go to the last episode. Maybe look them up, pictures of them. They have CGI too, to tell you maybe what they might have looked like. And it's just, I love that kind of stuff. It's super interesting. But Complex multicellular organisms gradually became more common in the millions of years immediately following the Cambrian. But it was not until this period that mineralized organisms became fossilized. The rapid diversification of life forms in the Cambrian, known as the Cambrian Explosion, produced the first representations of all modern animal phyla. Although diverse life forms prospered in the oceans, the land is thought to have been comparatively barren, with nothing more complex than a microbial soil crust, and a few mollusks that emerged to browse on the microbial biofilm known to have been present. The start of the Cambrian marked the breakup of the supercontinent Panotia, which formed, I think, in the last episode in the uh, Idia Karen. The seas were relatively warm, and polar ice was absent for much of this period. The Cambrian is split into four series in ten total stages within the series. So we're going to get into that right now, and that one's, this is going to be fucking crazy. Um, it, it's going to get really convoluted. I guess the only really thing that's going to happen right here is I'm going to talk about um, pre-trilobite life, and then I, I think that's like right before the Cambrian, and then right after that, the rest of it is just these new types of trilobite life that have just the most fucking, con like not confusing, but just whoever fucking named them, I don't know. I don't know who's naming these fucking anything that I pretty much all the episodes that I've done so far have these crazy complex names and I don't understand why we do that but it drives me fucking crazy so I mean maybe this last part of the episode is just gonna be you know I mean you guys can I guess just laugh with me at it but we'll see how that goes okay so series one the Terra Nuvian which uh, makes up stage one and two of the Cambrian it's the lowermost and oldest series of the Cambrian geologic system its base is defined by the beginning of the Fortunian stage, and the stage along with the presently unnamed Cambrian stage 2 are the stages within this series. And from the rest of the episode, I guess I'll be referring to the base as the beginning, just to kind of make it easier. But like everything that I've uh, researched for it usually refers to the beginning as the base, so I'm just going to switch it. But the Terranuvian corresponds to the pre-trilobite Cambrian, so all the life at this point was pre-trilobite, but they weren't around yet, at least in mass. The name Terranuvian is derived from Terra Nuevi, hopefully I pronounced that right, but it's a French name from the island of uh, Newfoundland, Canada, where many rocks of this age are found. So now going into the series, we're going to talk about the Fortunian, which is stage one. It marks the beginning of the Phanerozoic Eon, the Paleozoic Era, and the Cambrian period itself. It's the first of two stages of the Terranuvian species. Its beginning is defined as the first appearance of the trace fossil Treptichnus pitam. <laughs> around 540 million years ago. So the next is stage 2. It's the unnamed upper stage of the Terranuvian series. It is commonly referred to as the Tomatian after the Cambrian stratigraphy of Siberia. But uh, I guess it's, it's not like like uh, official yet when they're going to name it, so it's still technically unnamed. Proposals for the lower boundary are the appearance of small shelly fossils and archaeocyathid species or the mollusk Watson Watsonella Crosby. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. I looked up a lot of pronunciation for that, and that was the one I think that I I couldn't find like a, an accurate one for it, so I tried my best for that one. So then we go into uh, Series 2, which is Stage 3 and 4, and it's unnamed, of course, because a lot of these are... That's what I was saying like before. They're kind of in flux. Like People haven't really decided on what they want to call it yet because I think this is still kind of a new... Um, like really getting in-depth for the, for the Cambrian. So Stage 3 of series two is the still unnamed third series or uh, third stage of the Cambrian. The start of the stage is loosely defined as the first appearance of trilobites themselves. 
So then from now on, it's just going to be a super complex trilobite names. So stage four is the still unnamed uh, fourth stage of the Cambrian series and the upper stage of the second Cambrian series. The beginning of this stage has not been formally defined by the ICS, but one proposal is the first appearance of three trilobite genera, Olanellus or Redlichia, and this is going to be kind of hard for me to pronounce, but the Anthocephalus Chauvu. What the fuck? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Series 3. This makes up stage 5, 6, and 7. So we're already almost done. We're like halfway through the... We're like mid-Cambrian now, which is cool. Because I'm already I'm already getting sick of fucking pronouncing these. It's a still unnamed uh, third series of the Cambrian. It is divided into the unnamed stage 5, the Drumian, and the Guzhangian series. Or stages. Sorry, I'm already getting fucking confused with these. I'm making this more convoluted. Stage 5. It's the first stage of the third series of the Cambrian, or Middle Cambrian. Its beginning has not yet been formally defined by the ICS, but the most promising beginning is the first appearance of either the trilobite species Orictocephalus or Ovatricticar granulatea. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't... I, it honestly doesn't even really matter. There's just... A lot of uh, trilobites are fucking being made here. That's kind of like the most important part of this. So I guess that's just what we have to really focus on. So then I'll talk about the Drumian, which is a stage of the third series of the Cambrian. Uh, the beginning is defined as the first appearance of the trilobite, of course. Uh, <laughs> Tic Ignostis Atavus. What the fuck? I... <sighs> this is like getting crazy, but <laughs> hang in with me. We're almost done. We're getting through this together. And then <laughs> the Gus Hengian which is the next uh, stage, is the uppermost stage of the third series of the Cambrian. Its beginning is defined as the first appearance of the trilobite J. Ung Li Vidgata. <laughs> okay, um, the next is the Forongonian, which is the fourth and final series of the Cambrian. It's subdivided into the final three stages, so this is the last fucking series. We're almost done. And the three stages in this one are the Pybian, Jing Shanian and the unnamed tenth and final stage of the Cambrian. So I know that like this has been very uh, convoluted, but I'm not even gonna worry about going back. I don't think I'd be able to make it any better than that. So just remember that these are where the trilobites, you know, started to exist. So getting to the very lo uh, the last, I guess, lowest stage of the um, of the Cambrian series is the Pybian, which is the lowest stage of the Pharyngonian or a Pharyngonian or. F Fuck, Ferengian series of the Cambrian, I think. I don't even know if that's how you fucking pronounce it. The base is defined as the first appearance of the trilobite. Here we go again with this. Glypt Ignostis Reticulus. Reticulatus. <laughs> the name is derived from Paibi, a village in Hunan, China. I don't even know if Paibi is how you pronounce it. I, it was really hard to find uh, pronunciation videos for the villages in China. And then the second to last is the Jiangshanian which is the middle stage of the Pharyngonian or Pharyngian series. The beginning is defined as the first appearance of the trilobite. Here we go again with this. Agnostis Orientalis. This Cambrian stage was named after Jingxian, or Jingshan, a town in the Zhejiang province of China. I, I apologize. If you're Chinese and you know that I'm just brutally fucking this up, I apologize. I, I looked up pronunciation videos and I tried my best for this, but... Well, I did as, I did the best I could. We'll see how that. Uh, we'll see what you guys think of it. And here we go. This is stage ten, the still unnamed third and final stage of the Ferengonian series, as well as the tenth and final stage of the Cambrian itself. We fucking made it to the end, guys. We actually we fucking did it. The proposed beginning of this stage is the first appearance of the trilobite, Latognostis La americanus. And the end of this stage is the beginning of the Ordovician period of the Paleozoic Era and the Phanerozoic Eon. Fuck yeah, we fucking did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, I know that the, the end was a fucking wild. But uh, hopefully I explained it good in the beginning too. You had the idea for the Cambrian period. There was the Cambrian explosion where all the trilobites came in. That's kind of the gist of the episode. I just really went in depth for you guys. I wanted to get like every fucking fact that I could get in there. So I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you uh, next episode with the Ordovician period, which 
I think hopefully will be less um, convoluted. I think it won't just be tribe of lights. We'll actually start getting into other life forms and what they did. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So I hope you guys like this one. And I'll see you next time.